Yeah, good morning or <laughs> good afternoon when I look at the time. Uh, I'm uh, Regina Henschel and I'm uh, going to uh, introduce you uh, how uh, LibreOffice uh, implements um, what is called a limo stretch uh, for shapes. Uh, the uh, slide has a lot of um, code snippets. Uh, please don't try to uh, read them, them in detail, uh, but uh, focus on the um, bold or uh, colored parts. Uh, I have uploaded a version of the presentation which has additional comments and has additional slides uh, so that when you later uh, look at the presentation again, uh, you will um, find your way uh, through the code. Our um, first an example, what is a, a limo stretch at all? Uh, when you have a, an octet uh, and uh, drag it wider and it is uh, simple scaled, uh, then you see, uh, see that the uh, cuts here uh, change their uh, slope. When you have an octet where a limo stretch is uh, enabled, uh, then it looks at as, um, if it is here uh, cut and you have uh, dragged the um, uh, right part uh, uh, here. Um, to understand uh, what that ha uh, that happened, we uh, look at let's uh, <coughs> mark up in the file, and there uh, uh, you find information about the outer size of a shape, uh, the the width and the height, and you have. Um, a view box which gives you uh, an, which defines an inner coordinate system uh, that is uh, the left and top of the uh, the origin in, and this is the width and that is the height of the inner coordinate system. And the shape has a description of the path that means of this line here. Uh, here for example it has a command M for move to, we start at uh, coordinate uh, uh, zero 02, that uh, that's here, and L uh, means a line to, we, line, uh, we draw a line from here to, uh, to uh, zero, and uh, so on. Uh, when you have um, a shape where a limo stretch is enabled, the markup is uh, nearly the same. The only difference is that you have an additional attribute which uh, is a, a path stretch point. Uh, you might wonder where the name limo stretch is, uh, comes from. That's uh, history. <laughs> Uh, this feature already exists in uh, Microsoft uh, binary formats, which means uh, um, Microsoft uh, from '98, uh, and uh, it exists in RTF and it exists in uh, VML. Here, an example for uh, the markup in VML. Uh, there, you have two uh, inner coordinate system is the size, you have a path, and you have an additional information um, which says <coughs> that this shape has to be um, a limo stretched. Okay, that's an example. Uh, to understand what uh, LibreOffice does, it is uh, necessary that we first look how normally uh, shapes are rendered. Uh, it starts with a um, <coughs> method render. Uh, custom shapes and, uh, are not <coughs> rendered directly, but they need an object uh, to be rendered. So we have a create object. Uh, when, you, um, when it is not a rectangle, this object is always a path object. So we have a create path object. Uh, a custom shape ha can have um, several subpasses. 
Uh, for example, a smiley has a path for the, for the outer line, has a path for the, for the eyes and for the mouth. And therefore, we uh, need uh, to create a subpath. What does this uh, subpath do? It has a large uh, switch uh, over the um, commands. Here, for example, the case for the L uh, command, we have a case uh, uh, line two, and there you find that it um, gets a point from the internal description, appends it, uh, appends it to the uh, polygon, so that we can get a, a real pass. So, next we look what does get point. Uh, get point is itself is only a um, converter from a double to integer. The real work is done in a get point as MBCBD point. Uh, it distinguished uh, horizontal and uh, vertical. Uh, in my um, presentation, I will look only at a horizontal. The vertical case is uh, nearly the same. And here you see uh, a part uh, get parameter and an x scale. And we cook what they do. Uh, get parameter, at the first glance, it uh, converts uh, the description in the path, uh, may have, uh, maybe have um, references to adjustment values and equations, and it uh, resolves uh, these uh, references uh, to um, a real number, and returns this number in uh, the parameter of value x. We will uh, later have a um, deeper look on a, at that um, uh, method. And this value is then multiplied with a scale. Mm. What is this scale? Uh, <clears throat> this scale is a member in the enhanced uh, shape uh, 2D. Uh, unfortunately, this code uh, is uh, quite old. So some, uh, it is, uh, members are not uh, indicated in, the, uh, in their name uh, and uh, some other uh, parts exist which are not good readable and therefore this talk. <laughs> uh, this um, member is uh, set in the constructor. Uh, the constructor uh, calls um, method set path size and in this method uh, you find a create <coughs> calculation of a ratio a logic rectangle in the code is in most cases uh, the outer size of the shape in our case uh, the width of uh, 30.5 centimeter and uh, code width is uh, who held the number six of the uh, of the view books, which is the uh, internal coordinate system. So we get this uh, ratio. And when we look in an action uh, example, uh, we look at the uh, point uh, two dot uh, two uh, zero that is here in the inner coordinate system. We multiply it with this uh, ratio and get the value uh, 4.5. So the outer coordinate is uh, here, and the point is uh, drawn at this uh, place. That is a normal way. Uh, the inner uh, path description is, is uh, transformed to an outer uh, coordinate. So the uh, <coughs> first question is, how does LibreOffice prevent the scaling? We have seen at the left side of the, that the, it uh, keeps the same, uh, this um, uh, shape. Uh, when we look a bit further down in this uh, set path size, we find this. And this is um, 
um, not uh, uh, quickly to understand what here what here happens, and therefore I have removed all the um, uh, type conversions and uh, um, guards against uh, division by zero, and the uh, simplified version uh, looks uh, this way. And here you see an FX ratio is calculated. Uh, this ratio is a ratio from uh, shape width to uh, shape height. Um, FX ratio is unfortunately, it's, it's a member again, and you do not see it here that it is a member. And what you then do is uh, this uh, Kale value, value which we had uh, on the last uh, slides, is divided by this FX ratio. In the case, this FX ratio is larger than one, which means when this ratio is larger than one, then height is the smaller and width is the larger one. Uh, when that is not the case, uh, our scale remains the same. It remains uh, uh, with the uh, width at the um, uh, nominator. So uh, when we combine that, we can uh, say our scale is a minimum of uh, width and height divided by uh, the width. What does it mean uh, when we use this uh, transformed uh, scale? When we now look at the value two, and we multiply it with a, um, a changed uh, scale value, we get uh, 1.5. Uh, uh, that is this point here. It is no longer displayed here, but it is displayed here, and we have uh, the original uh, uh, shape. When we do that with all points, we get really this uh, the shape, but the inner that, that is the inner geometry, the shape itself has still uh, this uh, width and this height. So there must be something else in the code. This is not the uh, total solution. There must be something which moves this part to that edge. So let us uh, look what, uh, what it is. Uh, now we uh, need to look a, a little bit closer uh, to the get parameter. Uh, get parameter decides what to do on the type of parameter. We have um, parameters which are um, in the past description which are poor numbers. Uh, we have references to um, uh, Handles. Handles are uh, uh, that one where you can um, <coughs> grip and uh, uh, make with the mouse and, uh, and, and change the shape. And we have uh, references to equations uh, which are internal of the shape. Uh, for a, a number, uh, it uses the case a, a normal. And when we uh, look at what is done in this case, we see a condition here. And this condition is uh, the value uh, which is in the um, uh, path description is compared with the uh, uh, coordinate width. So when we have a six here, which, well, which was uh, the width of the inner coordinate system, uh, then it does something special. It multiplies the return value with this FX ratio. It tweaks it. So we now uh, get its uh, return value from get parameter. We get no longer a six, but we get this here. And when, uh, so previously we had a six multiplied with uh, um, the scale, and we get uh, 4.5. Now we get six tweaked multiplied with the scale 
uh, scale, and when, you sh when we shorten it and calculate, we, we get uh, 30.5, which is uh, at the right edge of the shape. My first attempt with this shape was I um, uh, write all the eight points. Uh, I listen, uh, list them here with their coordinates. Simple uh, to get this, this uh, octagon. I, I add the uh, special attribute for the stretch, uh, that it makes a limo stretch. But then I get this. Indeed, the points which has uh, the uh, coordinate 6 moved to the right. But the points which have the coordinate 4 remains at their place. They did not move. So uh, there um, must happen something uh, in addition. Uh, when we compare, what if I had uh, made its first try, and what is actually the markup, then you see instead of the uh, value 4, there is used a reference. That is here, uh, the question mark uh, uh, is a reference to a formula. Uh, the formula is below, its name is F0, and the formula itself is here, uh, right uh, minus 2. So we have to understand what uh, um, is going on here. We have to look uh, what happens uh, with this right minus 2. Uh, this uh, right minus 2 is an equation. Uh, that means that our uh, get parameter no longer uses the normal uh, case, but it uses the case equation. This equation uh, uses an, uh, a message. Let us look at it. Uh, and that is really uh, hard, this, this part. Uh, I start here, <clears throat> step by step. V means it is a vector, uh, a vector of um, um, no chess pointers. It's a vector of pointers to uh, derive classes of expression nodes. And uh, to make it harder, this expression node has an, an operand uh, with, which is written as a bracket pair. And this operand uh, results the value. It's strange. It's not, no, not a method, <coughs> as one would expect, but it's an uh, operand. This uh, value is assigned two times. Uh, this F number uh, is uh, the number which will be uh, later be, be uh, returned. But in addition, it is uh, uh, assigned to a struct um, a result. Uh, this struct takes uh, the value and it uh, uh, takes a flag um, to indicate whether this value is uh, valid or not. In this case, of course, it is valid that it's true. This struct uh, is uh, put into a vector equation results. And this vector is aligned with, a, uh, with this vector and means that whatever I calculate here, yes? Uh, whatever I calculate here is uh, cached in this uh, vector so that you only need to calculate it uh, once. Okay. Uh, so we have to look now at the expression nodes. This is a minus. So we uh, get the expression uh, node uh, binary uh, function expression. Uh, its operator um, calls a method get value, and that is a um, binary uh, minus. <coughs> okay. It has two arguments. The second one is the two. That is a constant value expression that um, simply returns a value. The first one is an enum, is a enum 
uh, you have right and left and top and uh, such enums. Uh, so we uh, get an enum value expression. And that calls a, a function which has a, a switch over this uh, enums. And in uh, one um, a case, we have the enum right. And there, you find the solution. This value is multiplied uh, with a fixed ratio. That is the same tweak as you have seen in the beginning with the value 6. And uh, so um, we have, oh, we'll skip that. Uh, we have the situation. Uh, what has to be done to get this LIMO stretch? Uh, LIMO office has code to not scale it so that we get this. Um, LIMO office has code to move this point at the edge to the right. But to get this point here, the author of the shape has to use the enum value right in his markup. You can, um, I have uh, passed some slides about uh, the relationship to uh, ODF. I will not show the uh, here, but uh, when you uh, look at the um, definition in, um, uh, in the standard, you will find that this way LibreOffice does it is not ODF conform. Oops. Uh, you can imagine it in a, in a second uh, 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 indicator is uh, the markup has two coordinates. And these coordinates are n uh, n nowhere used in the code. That is a, uh, the, um, that is, what? Uh, yes, uh, the question was uh, whether this is implemented. Uh, yes, it is a, the current state of the implementation. And it shows that in uh, this area, there is a lot of uh, things to do. Some things are, um, uh, could become easy hacks, for example, the, uh, prefix uh, the members can become in there are some uh, mm, uh, some values which uh, should be an enum uh, but uh, there is a lot of thing to do to uh, get this part of the code uh, conform to ODF Uh, no, there is no user interface. Uh, the uh, values come in from the predefined uh, shapes of um, MS binary format and uh, from the um, predefined shape. Um, uh, if we have an um, VML uh, filter, uh, if the shapes in uh, VML, they have these points and uh, um, there come, come uh, these values in. Uh, users uh, see it only when there is an er error. Error is, uh, for example, you have um, a call out with a rounded um, uh, corners, and when you drag it wider, uh, they, these corners are no, no longer a, a circle because it is uh, simple, wrongly implemented. Some more uh, questions? I ca I, uh, what are you interested in? <laughs> I could not, uh, could not uh, show you all, but. When you. Uh, What about uh, more complex 
sh- uh, uh, shapes which are defined using um, uh, Bezier curves or, uh, or you know, um, uh, splines. Um, uh, is this something that, that you've thought about that, that is, is it supported, that might be supported? Um, we fo- fo- focus on the um, custom shapes uh, because uh, that uh, shapes are used in Microsoft Office and uh, interoperability with, with uh, Microsoft Office is um, uh, for those who are paid for their uh, work uh, first, uh, first aid. Uh, there are uh, in the beginning, uh, there was a um, plan, plan to implement uh, um, a spline uh, too. We have uh, some uh, enums which have this spline, uh, but it uh, doesn't exist. Uh, you have only, um, besides this custom shapes and their uh, past definition, you have only the uh, curves which use um, uh, busy, uh, uh, cubic busier curves. Um, to what I understood is uh, that you have to define the the limo the thing in the um, description of the of the shape, which is a bit annoying because don't you want it uh, always to look similarly? And I wonder if the the functionality that we have to equally uh, equally uh, stretch an, an image in a shape could be used here so that when you press shift and you scale uh, horizontally, the the limo function is always applied at the middle of the shape. And if you don't press shift, it is not applied. Same for the vertical size. Does it make sense? Uh, that would uh, mean you have to uh, change uh, the definition of the shape. Uh, that is uh, problematic uh, because um, LibreOffice does uh, a lot of default values uh, only if it is the original uh, shape definition as you find it in the um, MS binary format. And when you change it, uh, other things of the, uh, that shape, for example, uh, the, the handle position or so, or so, is not maintained. You would uh, make a, 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 cu- a real custom shape, and uh, that, uh, will not, uh, that will not work. Yes. <laughs> you have really to de- go into the markup and set this uh, a stretch point attribute when your own shape uh, should uh, get this. Um, the predefined uh, shapes already uh, already have uh, this. I I have to look whether I get it. Oh, some. <coughs> Uh, this is uh, this is for example a uh, definition of a uh, binary shape as we uh, have it in in code to um, uh, to get the correspondence of the uh, Microsoft binary shapes and there we have the code width and this uh, two values here uh, define the stretch point in this uh, um, uh, when there is uh, no stretch point uh, then um, there will uh, there will be, will be uh, a special uh, value which indicates we have no stretch point, and when there is a stretch point, then it will uh, be here the number of the uh, the coordinates. And that's, uh, this uh, such definition exists uh, for um, all uh, 
preset shapes of the binary format. The OXML uh, needs not this way because it always uses uh, the way to that the shape itself is defined using uh, the value right. The, so the, the predefined shapes of OXML um, um, always uh, it, uh, are so defined that they use the value right already to, to get uh, this stretch, uh, Nemo stretch. We are out of time, but thanks again.